celebrating the baby boomer lifestyle. This is Boomer Life with Sterling Fox on AM 650. And welcome back to the program. Our guests in studio from Baptist Housing and Shannon Oaks in East Vancouver, Jillian Fullerton, who is the marketing director over at Shannon Oaks, and Alma Battersby is a longtime resident of Shannon mm-hmm. Oaks, a retired teacher from Richmond who's been there, what, almost nine years now? Yes, that's correct. And uh, any regrets, Alma? Uh, it's been so long and you've been so you're such an extroverted person you just look like you're having the time of your life and and it seems to be an odd question to ask but do you have any regrets actually no I, I would like to be able to get another dog but I know that's not possible and uh it has relieved me of a lot of work walking her and feeding her and bathing her and all that. But I loved her so much it didn't matter. But but regrets, really none. Right, right. And uh, what's, what's the best part about life at Shannon Oaks? You've, you've been there long enough now. You've, you've, uh, you're one of the senior residents, I would assume. <laughs> uh, what's, what's the most fun about living at Shannon Oaks? Well... It's a complete a sort of lack of responsibility, <laughs> which is nice. Being Having been a school teacher, you're used to doing a lot of things because you have to. Sure. And at, at Shannon Oaks, you don't have to if you don't want to. Right. And I, I think that, and I, I have made friends, new friends. I've kept my old friends. Uh, I really don't have anything negative to say. It's interesting because you moved into a senior's community doesn't mean that you've moved away from the rest of your life. You've just changed postal code for crying out loud. That, that's basically the truth. My life is very, very fruitful and I am enjoying it. And uh, the fact that I live at Shannon Oaks hasn't curtailed it. If anything, it, it, it is, it's amplified it because I can do nothing if I want to. Right. <laughs> well, and, there, and you see, Jillian, this is, this is that fear of loss of independence that, again, yeah. you hear in your office from reluctant parents of us boomers yeah. who are uh, unsure of, of this next big step into a retirement living community. So they, they, they cling to their stuff. I couldn't possibly move away and give away all that stuff. And also, they, they, it's, it's, well, and I couldn't possibly allow someone else to run my life. And yeah. that and, and so Alma you is just saying, your own. Alma has this is the look on her face like, what are you talking about? <laughs> because you're absolutely in charge at all times, aren't you? I, I think so. I think so. I do pretty well as I please. And and that's the way I like it. And I mean and nobody has told me I can't. Right, right. So yeah. that that's that's the way yeah. it is. Yeah. Right. She's maintained her old friends mm-hmm. and got new friends right she's yeah. met at shannon oaks so she's as she says enhanced her life it's you know blossomed i think i remember telling you about mary my friend whose life was changing oh, yeah right because her her friends were either you know couldn't get out anymore who were either passing away um all sorts of things uh-huh. so she was the one that came to me and said jillian i need some perks in my life show me an apartment aha uh-huh. you know and now she but again another woman like alma who on her yeah. own oh yes just sort of the, came yeah. to the realization that you know life is life there's got to be more to it than what yeah. what's going on now but she again made that voluntarily as you did alma 9 years ago yes so yes. that's a, a both in both cases, no boomers involved. That's, that's right. That's, that's really right. rare, yeah. isn't yeah. it? They had supportive family behind them. Right. You know, would, that would come, and, and Mary still does. She has her family, her nephew. You know, um, she has no children herself, but she has nephews and nieces sure. that come and have lunch with her and take her around. This is not at Shannon Oaks another place oh, <laughs> i have worked many places i have i have supportive family too yes i know I mean, you my, do my my uh my daughter like lives very close so just a matter of blocks away in my and i mean she does a lot of things for me that i don't like doing like my income tax and things like that uh-huh. she does them for me i mean wow. uh so i'm i'm very fortunate in that way you are indeed. Uh, Jillian, uh, back to the trial stay, back to helping people like me and you, boomers, who are just trying to do the right thing for mom and dad. And, and uh, unlike Alma and your friend Mary, not yeah. all of our parents are that organized right. or, or motivated right. to, to make those kinds of decisions um, arbitrarily. Yes. And, and so 
some in some cases there's a little bit of a push or certainly at least at very least some kind of consultative process going on we really need to talk mom about about your life and and yeah. where where the next step needs to be mm -hmm. so when these people uh, uh show up uh, at your office mm -hmm. at shannon oaks um, i guess it's it's it, Talk to us about what you say to the boomer kids who are just trying to do the right thing. I would speak to not the boomer kids, but to their parent. That's where I would focus on. And I would try and encourage them. I would show them around. I would have a meal with them. I'd discuss what we do here. I think it's important when you're doing a tour is to not just, and yes, you address some of the, the adult children's questions. But it's not but where it's they're going to live, is it's it? The focus is on mom or dad Good or for both. You. Good for you. And that's where the focus should be. Right. And you show them around and, you know, get them interested in what's happening and encourage them to do a trial stay right look at it as a vacation mm -hmm. a vacation and like a cruise ship you're on there you're coming for a week you're going to have a little cruise and try different things that's what they should do you know so if they're putting their toe in the water a little bit they come for a tour they may come back again and have another look around because they're comparing different sure of sites, course right of course you know and then i'd say really come and try by having a stay with us. If you would like to get in touch with Jillian at Shannon Oaks, uh, just go to baptisthousing.org and then click on Shannon Oaks and all of the contact information, the email addresses, the yes. phone numbers, the address, yeah. all of that stuff is on the website. So baptisthousing.org and then inside and click on Shannon Oaks and you're home free. And that's where Jillian's phone number is. Nice to see you again. Good to be here as Al always. Alma, thank you so much for taking some time to come down and tell us all about what a great life Shannon Oaks can provide. Thank you for having me. It was my pleasure. Well, I certainly enjoyed it. Uh, we'll take a we'll take a, a, our leave right now, and Jillian, we'll see you again soon. We will indeed. It's Boomer Life on AM 650.